Hello, hello! This is the first video in a series of guides that uh, aims to show you how to get your first blueprint up and running so that you can get your own custom ships. Without further ado, let's go! Okay, so here is the origin stations. All of them are exactly the same, doesn't matter at which one you are. And the first thing I'd like you to notice is that you need to go to the design workshop. Here it is on the screen right now, and that's what we're going to be heading to. We'll be heading into the editor directly and you have access to it through one of those uh, screens that are near the blue uh, boundary boxes. That's where we're heading. Okay, first I'll just head into my Discord and grab the blueprint of the Echo One, which is a free uh, blueprint for a starter ship that I've designed myself. And I'm going to show you how to do everything on that one. Okay. Before we start, there's an important difference here to understand. Well, you've got ship saves and you've got ship auto saves. The ship saves are stored on the frozen by its servers and we don't have access to them. What we need right now is a ship auto save. This is what's going to allow us to transfer that FBE file onto your computer and then use it in game. Right now, you do not have the autosave folder which we need. So right now, I'm going to show you how to create that autosave folder through the game. In order to do just that, take whatever object you want in the list on the left, place it on the scene and press Ctrl plus S in order to save. You'll be prompt to give your ship a name. Now let it save. Now that we've got a save, we want an autosave. So in order to get that, I'm very simply going to place another object onto the scene. This is going to cause a difference in the scene, which in turn is going to trigger an autosave. Autosaves by default are once every five minutes. So in order to not wait every five minutes, I'm going to head to the settings and change it back down to one. I'm going to speed this up a little bit, but what you want right now is the message in the bottom of the screen that's going to indicate to you that yes, indeed the autosave has been made. The autosave message is going to be displayed on the bottom of your screen. That's what you're waiting for. Now head to your downloads and take the FBE file of the Echo one. I'm going to be placing it into the autosave directory. And as you can see, I've already got a few and you should at least have one. Make sure you name it correctly. It should be ship underscore and a number bigger than the biggest one you currently have. In my case, it's ship underscore 8735. I can now go and find my Echo one into the autosaves. Please note that it's going to be the very first one, the one that has no text. It is in fact your ship. As you can see, we now have the ship fully loaded into the, the ship editor. So before you do anything else, I do recommend you save your ship. You can give it whatever name you want. This is going to allow you to find your ship without having to go all through the hassle I've just shown you previously and just load it whenever you feel like it. Now that you have saved your ship, you can now buy it. I do, however, have one last recommendation for you before you do so. As you can see, there are two prices that are being displayed right now. The assembly cost and the manufacturing cost, if you look at the credits on the bottom of the screen. You can lower the manufacturing cost by crafting all of the elements and the blueprint of the ship. This, in turn, will significantly lower the total credit cost you will have to pay to spawn that ship. Another advantage of doing so is this is going to give you very precious research points. Now that the ship has been bought, it will immediately be spawned into the blue area and you can now have fun using it. As you can see, 
I'm much more comfortable at designing ships than I am piloting them. So thanks a lot for watching this guide and have a nice game.